Uh, hello guys, my name is Rush. welcome back. So it's very early today and uh, today we're gonna take a look at Satellite Girl by Lee Burge. And this is a request by Patreon. And also, yeah, this song was released on Holiday I Dream, of course. And uh, yeah, I made something yesterday, uh, like a really quick breakdown, a really quick remake. As you can see, there are not a lot of sounds. So uh, let's just listen uh, first what I made. And then if you like it, you know, you know how it goes. <laughs> That was the sketch I made yesterday, and uh, yeah, let's take a look at it. First, we have the kick, uh, yeah, just the kick, right, basic, uh, I didn't do anything to it. Then we have the bass line, which plays, as you can see in the beginning, it plays bass one note, so it's just a single note playing, and then when we get to this part, it actually starts playing, uh, like, with the progression, right. So we have the whole song is in E flat minor, right? So we have we start the bass on E flat, and I have I just used wavetable uh, sine wave minus twenty four, um, and I just lo I think like in, when you open the wavetable I think like the decay or the sustain is a bit higher, so I lowered that some uh, some EQ and I added some Saturn just for some saturation, so. And also, like as you can see, like a shitload of uh, compression, right? Um, yeah, right. And then we, when we get to the second part, we have like this moving bassline, right? We go from E flat to B flat to A flat, back to B flat, using the same pattern. And as you can see, the pattern goes like this, right? Dum dum dum. Dum -dum, dum -dum. And it goes all the time like this. Right, so that's for the kick and the bass. Then we have a top loop, which is just actually sampled from the original. <laughs> just to save time, right? Uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, some EQ on it. Uh, but nothing really, you know, special. I added some hats, one hat. I needed some more hats. Some shakers. Right, and uh, like I just bend them a bit left to right. Some claps. Uh, this clap is like, if you want to get like these more organic house claps, like it's really good if you just like put the sustain down to zero, right? 
right? Because this sounds like shit. This doesn't sound like organic house, right? But as soon as you put the sustain down, way, way better. Um, so yeah, like in the original, there is like this bongo loop. If we listen, like here, right? I couldn't get like that bongo sound because I don't know what the hell that is, but I did like the Ndipinga Congo. And I did like the same kind of rhythm. I also extracted the groove and added to it. So this is how it sounds like. Right, so it's, it's really nice, really groovy. It's not the same sound. But together with the kick and all this stuff, it sounds pretty nice. Right? You can you can you can see the uh, not not see you can hear that I imitated imitated the rhythm, even though I didn't get like the right sounds, right? Because I I mean I didn't even search for them because I, as soon as I heard that manga, I was like. That, sh that shit is whack. <laughs> so yeah, but I tried to get like the same, the same kind of percussion uh, grooviness and feeling, right? And I think like that groove, when you extract the groove from the track and add it, it really helps. Um, so yeah, uh, that's, for it, that's it for the drums. As you can see, we only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tracks, right? Nine tracks. Uh, so we have two, like synth sounds which come in later in the track right here where we get the plugs and uh this this two are actually quite hard to, hard to decipher what the hell is going on but um uh, yeah let's listen Right, so it's a really nice sound. It's made uh, in Diva. It's just a, sam a preset I used called Ten Park, uh, and I changed it a bit. But um, yeah, there's a, there's always a bit different. As you can see, like the ending here is like the same as here, but like the last notes are different, right? At least this one. And then again, here the ending is totally different, right? So even though it kind of sounds like it's always kind of the same, it's really not. So it was really hard to, because I had to like go through like nine bars of listening to this shit and was like, whoa. But now it sounds pretty nice. <clears throat> Obviously some delay. And if you compare it to the original. Like the only thing I could actually do to make it even more, I could like fade it in because I think it kind of fades in. I think it kind of fades in, but you know. Uh, so yeah, then we get like this sound, which I made in Serum. And I called it Lee Burridge Synthesque. So it's basically like a square wave and like this mellow but unsta in unstable, whatever it did. And like the big, the big thing in this synth that we're going to hear is the velocity. So as you can see, velocity is changing the filter. So that means when we will press the key hard, it's going to open up the filter. When we press the key quietly, right, softly, it's not going to open the filter that much. And that will really help with the jamminess of the track. Now let's... Uh, listen to the synth that comes in. Like, notice the velocities, right? So there are a lot of changes uh, in like, did I change something? I hope I didn't. Yeah, as you can see, there are a lot of changes in the velocities and that really helps uh, if we will open Serum as well. And uh, can we take a look at both? Probably no. Yeah, we can. You can see how the filter here will be changing the uh, like depending on how much the velocity is playing, right? Uh, 
right? Uh, so that's really important in Descent. And uh, yeah, let's check out the original. Uh, the original is still a bit different, uh, like sound-wise, but uh, we're, I think we're pretty, pretty close. <laughs> Right. So yeah, that's it for this breakdown. The project file will be available on my Patreon. I hope you like this. Uh, it's not perfect, like I've said, but uh, yeah, it's a really cool track. Actually, the more you listen to this track, the more you like it. It's really simple. and uh, But I think this is where the magic lies in this track, right? Because a lot of times we tend to overcomplicate our lives, like seriously. And uh, yeah, hope you have a good day. Talk soon.